Today on the channel, it's ladies' night with the latest Super 7 Ultimates Thundercats, Willa. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! the channel for another Super 7 Ultimate unboxing and review and today on the channel from the latest and greatest Thundercats wave we've got Willa but for all your Willa needs make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth use discount code Kyle save yourself 10% all in stock items anything over $79 does ship free got to get a deal out there you can also go to the Super 7 website go to their store there put in code Kyle P to support the channel. There you go. Shout out to Super 7. But Super 7 Thundercats roll on here with Willa. A little ladies night here. And a lot of people really wanted Willa. A lot of people big Willa fans. Eh, not me so much. I don't mind her. I love that she completes in a part of the universe. But when I think of my iconic favorite characters of Thundercats lore. Willa's probably not even in my top 20. I gotta say it. Gotta say it. But she is what she is. Uh, and it's an interesting figure for sure in the line that looks a lot different than anybody else in the line so far. But of course, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. So without further ado, let's see what's going on here with the old Super 7 Thundercats. Of course, classic slip cover. She's a good guy after all. She's got the Thundercats emblem. we got Willa down low. Nothing on the sides. Classic Thundercats logo on the back. No brown uh, packaging cover anymore, as we do know. See you later. Goodbye. And then we got Willa right there looking only like a Willa could look in the Ultimate Edition line. Thundercats, big window box, of course. Plenty of accessories with her. On the back, beautiful, beautiful artwork. And then, of course, the write-up. Let's see what it says about old Willa on the back here. Wise and resourceful, Willa leads the treetop-dwelling warrior maidens, allies of the Thundercats, on Third Earth. Though she initially distrusted the feline offworlders, Willa recognized their leader Lionel's valor and integrity compared to the evil of Mumra and the mutants. Together with her younger sister Nada, 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 Nadia? I'm trying to remember. It's been a long time. Uh, Willa often warns the Thundarian newcomers of Third Earth's many dangers. A master archer with an arsenal of trick arrows, Willa fights evil in all of its forms. And of course, it was really a paint by numbers episode when she was introduced. You know, oh, there's this new bad guys and she thinks Thundercats are evil. It takes a while. Then they become friends. Then they team up. Then she comes back future episodes. Quite the story arc, of course. It's almost like Planet of the Apes back in the day, you know? The humans, they encounter the humans, the, the humans that are like monkeys and like have to earn their trust and become friends. And oh, it's a whole rigmarole for sure. It, it wears on you. It wears on you. But uh, Willa finally here. Will we get her sister in the future? Could be a decent one. We'll see if that ends up happening. But Willa, see you later. Goodbye. There it is. Plastic prison time. Boy, oh boy. Packed full of tape, packed full of clip ties. Packed full of accessories is Willa in the plastic prison. I'm going to take her offline, get her out of the box, and we'll be back talking all things Willa. All right, we got Willa out of the package. Let's dive into her accessories first. She's packed with all kinds of stuff. Tons and tons of hands on her, but she did come to fight. Love to see it. Two fists of fury out of the package. Looking really good there. Of course, two gripping hands. Probably going to have to use these to grip some of these weapons, of course. But looking good there. She does got a splayed out hand, a straight up hand. Man, her middle finger is extra long. That's absolutely wild. If you look at this hand, it's like way longer than the other fingers. Uh, and then she does got another slapping hand here. So two slapping hands, open hands. Uh, she does got the mangled hands, kind of the uh, jarring hands here. She's giving you one of those kind of things. So we get those as far as hands go. And then another one here, uh, kind of very similar, but a little tighter grip here on this one. So pretty much every hand you could want is right here for old Willa looking pretty good. Then we're getting down to her weapon. She does got a little knife here. Oh, a little knife. Nice curl on it too. Uh, nice orange and brown color and then silver on the handle. A very nice ornate knife. And it looks like you can store that. Yes, it does. You can store that right in the pouch she has on the front so we can store that knife away. 
Always appreciate things like that. Then we get her little archer bag here. She's got her quills. She's got her arrow. She's ready to go. She's got one trick arrow like a young Hawkeye right here as well. It's got a little trick arrow on the end. Love the white color. I wish we could store these in here. Unfortunately, that isn't the case. These are not removable, but a nice little bag to hold the arrows. Nice brown strap on it. Really on brand, of course, for Willa. So she's got to have this around her. Ready to go with her um, archery skills at any time. She'll give you one of those. Never know. But then, of course, we do get her bow, and you got a real rope in here, which is really nice to see as well. So real rope, making it look really good. Got the wrappings against the brown. Very, very nice. No issues with this at all. Very, very nice. Her iconic bow and arrows. She's ready to go. She's ready to defend, her, to defend Third Earth against the mutants, of course. Now we dive into the final accessory piece, this little like spider guy here, looking very happy, looking very 80s cartoon-like. We get him, uh, her version of Snarf, we'll say, right there. How about that? But now we get down to Willa herself, and we got to see what all the fuss is about with Willa. Two head sculpts on her, very, very nice. As far as human skin, human cartoon face goes, I think they did a pretty good job right here. She's got the flower on the side of the head, big ponytail going on down. A very kind of mad, stoic look. This is when she first encounters Lionel. She's not uh, picking up what he's putting down. Uh, they got to come to an understanding first. So she's a little bit uh, pouty in this one. Got nice lipstick going on. Nice big brown eyes and beautiful hair on here. Same head over here. Got the same hair going on, same flower all that but a more welcoming look here for her big smiley face big old eyes looking very nice here so definitely looking like willa two very good head scans you want her stoic kind of mad you want her happy choose your own willa adventure at the end of the day but now we dive into the figure we talked about you can store that knife in the front always love to be able to store stuff on the figures of course arms go all the way around on her arms go up side to side at the elbow single jointed elbow hands movable back and forth side to side two fists of fury as we said Head removable back and forth, side to side. Waist articulation, yep, and hula hoop articulation, so the double whammy there. Little bit of splits, a little bit blocked, though, by her very Flintstone-like dress. It almost looks like something uh, Wilma would have been wearing in the Flintstones back in the day. Got a little arm bracer as well over here. Looking good. Single jointed knees, side to side, back and forth. Of course, same thing with the feet up and down. Bracers on the ankles there as well. Bare feet on her. Got to get cold in those cold uh, Third Earth nights, I would imagine. Does she fit on a ringside collectible Mattel stand? Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10%. Fits perfectly on the Mattel stand for those keeping track at home. Nice orange bright dress on her looking really, really good. Uh, no real issues with that. I do see a little bit of skin tone variation between her chest and her arms. A little bit of color change there. Uh, that is just a little bit of a miss. But really, all in all, not bad. If you're a Willa fan, you're probably pretty happy. I think they did a pretty good job. I think as far as Super 7 goes, this is about as good as you're going to get a Willa figure. And I think it, it is fine for what it is. But for me, not a super favorite character of mine, but a must-have if you're collecting all the Thundercat Ultimate figures. you got to have her to represent uh, her episodes, of course. There's no doubt about it, but an interesting one. I will put it that an interesting one. I'm going to put her on that stand. Willa's last stand. That's what we're going to call it right there. Stands really good right there. We got Lionel. There he is, right in front of my face. Put her next to Lionel. See how these two kind of scale next to each other. Not bad. So another welcome addition in our Thundercat shelf as we're getting real deep in the line here. We need some more Luna attacks. That's what I want to see in the future. It's going to be interesting to see what happens with Super 7 Thundercats, of course, into 2024. They did just recently announce the latest wave up for pre-order. An interesting one. A little bit of this, a little bit of that in that wave. Be interested to see the next couple of waves uh, that we get in 2024 and hopefully beyond. So there it is. There's Willa, Super 7 Ultimate thundercats what are your guys' thoughts picking this one up long game no game passing let me know your thoughts on willa and the thundercats line and of course don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe to the channel turn on the old notification bell we got videos every single day and then some we got even more content for you of course on patreon you can sign up to be a free member so check out the link in the description down below but we got all kinds of early access to all the youtube videos bonus stuff you name it it's all over there on the old patreon and best of all you do support the channel and all the content it does bring you can all support the channel pressingtees.com search kyle peterson and don't forget social media sir paul 64 on the x the underscore kyle underscore peterson on threads and on instagram so for willa i'm kyle see you guys all real soon